nilikuwa nimesema right now nilikuwa nimesema nitakuja na mgeni kutoka upande wa Baghdad and of course as i said Kenya diaspora media we have been the pillar for a lot of people many years kama tu abiria mpaka uko like from 2016 tumekuja hivi mpaka leo 2021 2022 and god has been very faithful na leo kuna dada moja ameniandikia sms akaniandikia nikasema nitamtafuta na ndio niweze kuongea na yeye nijue what is going on uh, moja kwa moja from uh, Baghdad na habari yako my sister Nzuri Ah uh, ulisema unaitwa namna gani Naitwa Betty Kemba Bakita Betty Yes Betty uko wapi saa hizi Niko Baghdad Iraq Baghdad Iraq Eh. Ulifikaje Baghdad Iraq? Nili, nili, kuna rafiki yangu mwenye alikuanga hapa, kani connect na agent. Aha. Huyo agent ni Byrot. Okay. Akaniambia nitafute passport, nikatafuta passport. <coughs> Siku ile passport ilitoka, nikamtumia hiyo passport immediately hata sikukaa nayo. Nikamwendea Nairobi nilikuwa kisi. Ikaka ilikuwa ni travel e, mwezi wa tatu 2020. Covid mm-hmm. ikaingia. Mm-hmm. Nika travel sasa Oktoba. Mm-hmm. Oktoba nikafika Nairobi hivi kwa airport nikapewa passport yangu nikaambiwa na kuja kufanya kazi ya cleaner. Kufika nikapewa kazi ya nyumba nikaenda hiyo kazi ya nyumba nyumba ya kwanza kulikuwa ni wanaume tu wengi na mama mmoja hiyo mm-hmm. nikaogopa kukaa kwa hiyo nyumba hiyo uoga ndio of my first time to travel huko gulf nikarudishwa kwa ofisi nikachenjiwa nyumba mm-hmm. nyumba yenye nilichenjiwa nikaenda nikaambiwa nifanye baby sitter mm-hmm. mtoto mm-hmm. huyo mtoto hakuwa hakuwa normal mtoto akili yake hayuko timamu mm-hmm. kashindwa kuelewana na yeye vizuri mm-hmm. wenyewe wakasema mm-hmm. watanirudisha kwa ofisi wanibadilishie contract juu sijawakosea wako mm-hmm. na salon wakanipeleka mm-hmm. kwa hiyo salon mm-hmm. vile walinipeleka kwa hiyo salon nikafanya kazi kwa salon wakaelewana na ofisi nikafanya kazi kwa salon walinifunza siku tatu kufanya bidi kiwa manikiwa na Kirik na Jerish mm-hmm. nikajua nikajua bidi kiwa manikiwa na Jerish Kirik mm-hmm. wakakuwa wananifunza pole pole mpaka nikajua nikakuwa nafanya nafanya hadi usafi kila kitu nilikuwa nafanya kila kitu kwa salon in general nikafanya kazi nikafanya ikafika mahali ile nilinetwa kwa salon kuna msichana mwenye alipelekwa kwa nyumba kulinda huyo mtoto huyo mtoto pia yeye akamshinda pia msichana akaletwa kwa salon mimi nilikuwa nimemaliza nao watu sasa nine months tukakaa na huyo msichana akaletwa kwa salon sasa wasichana wenye walikuwa kwa salon wa Nepal kuna wababa wenye walikuwa Bangladesh wenye walikuwa wanafanya usafi kuna clinic ya beauty na salon. Bangladesh walikuwa wanaosha kwa kwa clinic. Sasa wakaanza ku complain mbona unaleta wa Kenya wengi hapa wa Kenya wako wawili. Si vizuri. Ikakuwa ni fitina fitina tunafanywa tu fitina mpaka mmoja ondolewe. Ikakuwa mimi ndio naonelelewa. Ikafika mahali wakaona tunajikaza sana nikaanza kuambiwa nafanya kazi ya salon mtu hata huwezi kula unaambiwa wakafika wakatuambia wakaanza kutupele kasi ya wale wa Bangladesh wale wa baba wa baba wanakaa tunaenda tunawafanyia kazi yao tukakaza hiyo nikafanya miezi, miezi tatu mateso ikakaa ngumu kutoka hapo awali tulikuwa tu vizuri na waarabu wa wengine wenye tunafanya nao kwa salon tunafanya video tiktok tunakula na wao vizuri ikafika sasa wakaanza kutunyanyasa kila kitu hatuwezi kula na wao hatuwezi cheka na wao ni viti na tu mara wanaambia boss tuko kwa simu hatutaki nini sasa ile fitina nao wanepa ikakuwa ni fitina tu sasa 
bosi manene nyo walikuwa anaambiwa hiyo wakati sisi hatukuwa tunaelewa Kiarabu ilikuwa ni fitina tukaanza kufanywa fitina wa Kenya Mbaba akanirudisha ku office akaniambia Betty go back your things are going back to the office nikamwambia what's wrong baba akaniambia i don't want questions go back to the office nika back to vitu zangu nikabeba nikaenda ku office nikaenda nikafungiwa ku office one week hakuna chakula hakuna internet office iniambi kitu so siji chini walikuwa wanaongelelea kuanzia hapo maisha ikaanza ku change na hiyo familia familia ikanichukia hivyo tu sijui ni nini ilikuwa inaendelea kaka hivyo kwa hiyo ofisi nikaambia ofisi jamani simu nibadilishie basi mtu mwingine kuongea na agent wangu wa Kenya nibadilishiwe mtu agent akasema sawa nitaongea na wao siku ya mwisho agent akaniambia watu wamekataa nikarudishwa tena kwa hiyo nyumba sufile walikuja ku ofisi waliandika sasa kwa sasa kwa hiyo kwa hiyo kwa, 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 kwa hiyo nyumba ulikuwa unafanya kazi gani Nilikuwa sasa nafanya kazi ya salon wamenipeleka kama maid wakanipia kazi ya kufanya kwa salon Okay lakini unalala kwao unaishi kwao Nilikuwa tunalala kwa salon tu chini kama customer wameenda tunaosha tunaweka tu mattress chini tunajifunika Mm-hmm. Hapo tu chini kwa faranda. Asubuhi tunaamka tuna make sure tumepanga hizo mattress tumekunja tumeficha. Tunaoga tunaingia kwa bafu. Tunaingia kwa kazi tu. Maisha ikakaa tu hivyo ngumu. Nikarudishwa nika hapo sasa tena. Wakakuwa wananilipa sasa daily. Wananilipa 10,000 lira kidina. Sio ni kama shilingi nane ya Kenya kila siku wakanilipa siku mbili wakaniambia hiyo pesa ndio unatoa pesa ya chakula hapo hatukupei hata pesa ya chakula pesa yenye unafanyia ndio unanunua na hiyo chakula maisha kwa ngumu miezi mbili bado siku self pesa pesa yote imeishia kwa chakula hakuna pesa maisha ikakaa ngumu mwezi wa tatu kujaribu ku save ni kasefu mia ine peke yake ya Kenya ah nikaemwambia baba please give me money for food akakataa kabisa kamuomba pesa ya chakula peke yake akanika akakataa nikaendelea nikaendelea ikafika siku nyingine wakaona msichana amefumilia sana sijui nikao alikuwa ananitesa nikafanya bedikiwa nikafanya manikiwa um, um pali alipewa anga off waje ipewa off wakapewa off tukabaki na huyo mkenya kambiwa tuoshe ukuta kwa salon tunaosha ukuta na makustomer wako tu hapo customer akikuja wakosha mikuu naenda kumosha miguu kambi ukisimama uki, tu hivi unaambiwa uoshe chuo tukaambiwa tuende juu tuoshe clinic eh msichana mwingine mkenya akasema hapana hata kama ni kufukuzwa wacha tu tufukuzwe kwa amani jamani hata atuku kule hiyo siku tukapigia umbaba simu tukamwambia Please, tuambie ni nini inaendelea hapa? Sisi tumechoka. Kamwambia mimi hata sina pesa ya chakula kabisa, kakata. Hiyo siku mkenya akanipea chakula. Mkenya alimaliziwa kukatwa mshahara yake juu amenipea chakula. Mne pale aliona akinipea chakula hiyo siku. Maisha ikakuwa ngumu. Eh, hey, kwenda kukomplain kwa hiyo mbaba siku nyingine akaniambia Wait me there I'm coming. Takua wewe. Ananiambia. I will kill you. Alikuwa anaongea na sauti ya juu mbaya. Hey, mkenya mwenzangu akaniambia hapa kumekuwa kubaya beti. Itabidi tutoroke hata kwa streets. Tukasema sawa. Tukaacha kila kitu yetu. Tukatoka tuna mi mpaka simu zangu niliacha. Nikatoka tuna kabag hata kuna hizo videos nasikia anga ya kuna hizo videos ya mtumia nje tu wangu vile tulitoka tuliacha kila kitu tukatoroka kwa barabara tukapata taksi hiyo taksi ikatuliwaambia watupeleke kwa salon salon yoyote akatupeleka kwa salon fulani hata sikumbu kijina tukakaa hapo huyo mama wa hiyo salon alikuwa anga mzuri akatutafutia kazi ya nyumba kila mtu akaenda zake tukapoteleana tu hivyo na huyo rafiki yangu 
huyo nyumba huyo mbaba akarudi akatafuta huyo mjaluo huyo mkenya mwenzangu alikuwa mjaluo wakamrudisha kwa hiyo nyumba akamwambia yeye akwanga na makosa akarudi mtu mbaya sasa ni mimi ule huyo mkenya mwenzangu kuniambia watu mimi nilirudi niko tu niko vizuri kuambia nirudi mimi wakakata vile yule amerudi hivi wiki moja nikaanza kugonjeka sasa nikaanza kugonjeka mpaka saa hii hata kutembea na shindo kutembea kabisa siezi simama hata 5 minutes nilikuwa hapa natetemeka natetemeka kutetemeka sieti ni baridi nasikia kutetemeka alafu na sweat kama nasikia baridi kutoka ndani na sweat na kadu maji peke yake nilikuwa hapa ni kumaji peke yake Bosi akakataa kabisa mpaka saa hii. Na muongeleshanga mpaka saa hii naendelea kumbega hata jana usiku nikampigia simu. Please baba let me come back. Aka, akakataa kabisa akasema sikutaki. Tunataka I want my 4000 US dollars. Ndiye anataka then I will give you your passport you go back to your country. I only need my money I don't want you. You are all there for I don't want you. Hivyo ndiye ananiambia anitaki kabisa. Hawataki wanione familia hii nitaki. Wanataka tu pesa zao irudi. Ananiambia if any of you will die in Iraq if there's no my money you will not go. If any of you die I will pan you and keep you here in Iraq. Maisha sasa wow. hapo nimepika. Sasa aha. Uh, huh. mm? Okay. Hebu nikumbushe jina yako tena, Beti. E, Beti. Sasa ulifanya kazi mm. kwake kwa muda gani? Nilimfanyia kazi mwaka moja. Mwaka moja. Mwaka moja haukuwa na kulipa? Alikuwa na nililipa like for eight months. Hizo miezi zingine nne. Sikakuwa tu ni ananilipa kila siku na kula chakula nini? kunipeleka kwa ofisi kunirudisha kunikata mshahara ipo tu Na ulipelekwa Baghdad na kampuni gani? Si kampuni jina ya kampuni ya Kenya tujui tulikujanga wasichana watano mtu mwenye alituleta anaitwa Josephat ni mu, ni, ni captain pirate Huyo mtu sijui kama ako na ofisi Wow. Sasa sasa wakati sasa alikataa urudi, ulikuwa unambegi urudi kwa nini? Na wewe ndiyo ulitoroka? Alikuwa anasema ataniua. Jule matese nilikuwa nimepitia hapo hadi umkenya mwenzangu alisema hapa ukienda ni baki pia mimi nitauliwa juu ndaulizo kwa wapi? Tulikuwa tunateswa tu pamoja. Na huyo mkenya mwingine yako wapi? walimchukuanga walimtafuta wakamrudisha kwa nyumba wakasema we love you but we don't love Betty she is a devil we don't love her na sasa wewe ulienda wapi ulianza kuenda wapi sasa wakati walikataa kukurudisha na nimesikia ulikuwa umepata kazi ya ulitafutua kazi nyingine ya nyumba kwenye ulienda kuliendaje nikaenda hiyo kazi ya nyumba huyo mama akaniambia hapa unakupea chakula na nakupea mali unalala unanisaidia kazi. Njua una passport ndio tunaandikiana na wewe. Mimi bado sijui maneno ya golf vile inafanywanga. Sijai travel huku. Nikasema sawa. Sijui kama kuna mapolisi huku Baghdad si kwa najua. Sasa ndio wasiana wananiambianga kuna mapolisi, kuna nini, kuna immigration hizo vitu sijui. Mimi hata nasikia eti ukifika kwa bosi unapelekwa kwa immigration upige vidole siju unaenda unapewa ikama. Tena nilipelekwa kwa hiyo nyumba ni hivyo. Si kwa itolewa. Nilitoka kwa ofisi kwa hiyo nyumba hivyo. Ukwende nimeshinda tu naenda kwa, kwa nyumba nafanya. Mwingine anakupea chakula, mwingine anaweza kukupea hizi pesa zao za Iraq. Mtu anakupea kama elfu kumi. Elfu shirini na tano mgena ni zaka kupea 25. Una katu na ayo mibi unanunua mafta. Mgena na kupea mali unanala kama hapa mali niko. 
ni mali rafiki yangu anafanya kazi bosi wake ndiye alinileta hapa kaniambia juu mimi ni mgonjwa huyu rafiki yake ananga mambo mingi ni kuje nikae hapa nikipona wataona vile watanifanya niko tu akanunulia dawa kaniambia nipone watanipea kazi ila nimeshindwa kufanya kazi kabisa wananiambia nione vile nitatoka hapa nikamwambia acha nitapigia watu wa kwetu nikirudi ni sawa Uh, sasa ni kwa muda gani haujakuwa ukifanya kazi? Tangu Disemba sijaifanya kazi. Disemba mwaka gani? Mwaka 2021. Eh 2021. So hiyo miezi mingine yote ulikuwa unafanya kazi? Eh lakini sikuwa nalibu. Sikuwa nalipo kabisa juu nilitoka kwa hiyo nyumba November. Kulingana na uh, ujumbe ambao nilitumiwa kutoka huko upande wa Iraq ni kwa naambiwa unaishi kwa street. Uliishi kwa street ama unaishi hivyo umesema kwa wenyewe? Ni kwa wenyewe natoka nyumba kwa nyumba nyingine si street. Nilisema streets of Baghdad. Kwa nchi zingi unaenda kwa nyumba unaenda kwa nyumba nyingine una mali pamoja bakuka. Ni kutoka one place to another place. Na ni wakenya wenzako wanakuhost ama ni warabu? Ni warabu. Ushapelekwa hospitali. Umnemesikia ukisema uko mgonjwa? Siwezi peleka hospitali bila passport ama bila ikama. Nimejaribu kumwambia nipeleke hata hospitali amekataa. Bona na kuitisha 4000 dollars. Anasema hizo ndio alinitolea Kenya. Mpaka hapa. Senya lilipa mpaka ofisi ya Baghdad. Ofisi ya Baghdad nilijaribu kuongelesha hawa kunijibu. Ndio nikiwa ku ofisi waliniambianga we have no contract with you. Jumemaliza six months with your boss. Now that's your office and that's your boss. Umepatana na wakenya wengine huko? Sijaipatana na mkenya yeyote mimi. Ni kwa simu tu wananipigia wanyamia niko Baghdad uko Baghdad wapi hivyo tu na, na najua kwa kuna watu watakuona wata, wata hii video baadaye na watakuuliza uko Baghdad wapi do you know where you are eh niko Dora please niko mama mshosha ameniambia niko Dora mm -hmm. Dora eh sasa watu wenu nyumbani umeniambia umetoka pande gani ya Kenya? Kisi. Kisi. Mm. Watu wenu wanajua unatesekea Baghdad? Eh wanajua. Wanajaribu kutafuta pesa pia wao nyumbani. Jio pesa ni mingi. Hata sijafanyia kasi hata nusu ya hiyo pesa. Lakini umeniambia ulikuwa unatuma pesa nyumbani? Eh Wameweza kuchanga ngapi familia yako? Sijawauliza ni pesa ngapi wamechanga. So ile haswa shida ambazo unapitia huko ni gani na ungetaka wa Kenya ambao wanakusikia leo hii wakusaidie namna gani? Ugonjwa. Ugonjwa tu nimenipea shida. Ningepata tu njia nitoke Baghdad kabisa nirudi kwetu nikatibiwe. Nipone huko. Ni hata siku anajua mambo ya huku. Jwata ndio niko 19 years. Nilimaliza tu form 4 nikasikia kuna gulf. Acha nikakimbia tu. Wasaji wenyewe walishtukia tu. Ah, mtoto ameenda. Niwapigia tu simu. Huko umeambia Ama yangu wako anajua hakuna mtu alikuwa anajua nilikuwa huyu huyu wa agent ndi aliniprocess ya kila kitu Mimi nikomtumia tu ilitoka akaniambia vile umeiendea hivyo hapo kisi huyo agent ni mkisi Nitumanishie niko Nairobi nikaiweka tu kwa gari keumbu ikaenda mpaka Nairobi
Ifo akamaliza kila kitu. Mimi ni kwenda tu nilienda nikamwambia mamu nimepata kazi mahali naenda. Mamu kukata nikamwambia isha toka acha tu niende. Ah, kasema sasa kama hutaki uingie shule ili kwa ni join akaniambia waenda. Siwezi kukusimamisha. Ndio sasa nimepatana na tabu zangu hapa. Sasa haswa kilichokupeleka Baghdad wewe ulikuwa unataka kuingia diaspora ama ulikuwa unataka kuingia dege ama ulikuwa unataka kutafuta hela? Nilikuwa natafuta tu hela. Juata baada ya shule ukimaliza tu hiyo masomo bado utarudi tu kutafuta pesa. Sema tu kama hapo kuna pesa acha nikuje basi nitafute niweke hata hiyo school fees ndio nikuje nikaingie shule. Ndio hii sasa. Tumekuwa tukionya wasichana wetu kukuja Baghdad na ama kwenda hizo nchi kama mtu hana uhakika mahali anaenda sababu watu wengi ni watu wengi sana tumetoa huko Iraq na mpaka nilikuwa nimesema si itasaidia mtu mwingine kutoka upande huo wa hizo nchi sababu ni wengi sana wanaenda bado tukiwaonya wanasonga huko na hili jambo linakashirisha lina, lina watu wengi sana kwa sababu kwa nini mtu aende na na watu bado wanazidi kuonya wasiende hiyo nchi mimi sikuwa najua rafiki yangu alikuwa ni kadhani yako maisha mazuri pia mimi nikamfuata yeye alirudi alimajizanga contract akarudi sasa wewe ulikuwa umebakisha muda gani kumaliza contract yako ni mwaka mmoja inafaisha iishe Oktoba mwaka na huyo bosi yako amekataa uwe urudi amenikataa kabisa kabisa Sasa ni ugonjwa gani uko na umejua ama kunaendaje? Nasikia ukisema hatuwezi simama. Siwezi simama, ni muscles zinanikula miguu. Kabisa kabisa nimeshindwa kutembea na baridi. Wow. So, huyu mwenye anataka kulipwa pesa zake 4000. Ndiye ako na passport yako. Ndiye ako na kila kitu eh. Na una uhakika gani akipewa pesa ataachilia pasipote yako? Hivyo ndiyo anasema. Pesa tu yenye aliniletea ndiyo anataka. Ni Mwarabu ama ni Mkenya? Ni Mwarabu. Kuna jia na kuna jia yote tunaweza mfikia huko? Eh. Niko na namba zake. Anaongeanga kizungu ama anaongeanga lugha gani? Anaongea kizungu yote. Okay. Mm. Ni kama ulikuwa umenitumia namba yake ama ulikuwa umenitumia nini? Sija kutumia namba. Lakini nimeona unamuita Captain Jose si, sioni namba yake. Hiyo <coughs> Captain Jose ndio agent wangu wa Kenya. Ni pilot ni captain. Huyo Mohamed sasa ndio bosi wangu. Na Captain Jose umeongea na ye Na uache kujikata kichwa. Chukua simu kidogo. Eh, eh hapo ni sawa. Nimeongea na ye Okay. Ofisi ofisi na ye ili block. Mr. Ofisi ni mbloki ananiambia go to migration. Migration tu ndio anataka niende ni migration na hii ya yangu nikienda nikilala huko kwa front asaini winter ile natetemeka ni kifo tu. Wow. Uh, sasa huyu 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 Muhammad unamuita Muhammad. Eh pesa zake atalipwa namna gani? Cuz tunaweza kumulipa ndio at least uende nyumbani. Lakini atalipwaje na tuko na uhakika gani atakuachilia uende nyumbani? Nikutumiwa tu. Nikutumiwa. Naweza kutumia namba yake uongee na yeye utasikia vile anakuambia. Aizi kukujibu A kitu na kuambia I only need money. Ako WhatsApp. Ako na WhatsApp. Eh. 
Uh, unaweza lakini namba yake iko kwa hiyo simu tunaongea nayo ama utapata wapi namba yake? Namba yake iko hapa. Eh. Jana simame nichukue. Simu itatingika pole. Tingike bola usikate. <laughs> Mimi natembea tu kwa magoti. Ati kwa magoti. Ashindwa kukanyaga miguu. Ako na WhatsApp? Eh, ndio naona namba yake. Ah. Uh, <laughs> mimi najua ninaweza kumuona Betty lakini najua wewe unanisikiza kwa mitandao labda humuone uh, lakini wala watakuwa YouTube baada ya hii sababu nime nime decide ku record hii video kwanza uh, ndio niweze kusikia hii maneno vizuri. Uh, because personally I believe that God we are able to do it. We have done it before. Kama ni kitu naweza msaidia I would not I will not sigh off from helping. I will help and to help mimi na wewe. Uh, hata kama hii imekuwa ni jambo gumu sana. We are going to stand in the gap. Na mimi huwa ninasema kusaidia ni roho ya mtu. Uko umepata namba yake? Eh nimekutumia. Aya, acha ni jaribu kumtafuta. Thank you. Na huyu huyu ni Nigeria ndiye ananisaidianga mali nililetwa. Okay. Ah, uh, acha ni jaribu kutafuta huyu Muhammad. Umesema anaongeanga kizungu? Eh, naongea kizungu. Okay. Na sasa huko huko umepewa mpaka lini? Mali niko. Eh. Na yani yangu sijui hawa watu. Unajui kizidi mtu anaogopa kukweka kwake. Aha. Uh -huh. Condition yenye niko hata amenifumilia. Karibu siku nne na wamenunulia madawa. Wacha nitafute huyu Muhammad in a minute. Sawa. Kini naona hiyo namba umenipea haiwezi enda. Unapiga WhatsApp. Si kama online. Oh my god. Okay, nafikiri kuna Seven ninety one forty five. Just a minute. Aya, ina mbaya ke. Jineako ana ku ana Ni Betty tu. Betty. Okay. All right. Uh, watazamaji wangu ambao wako uh, ningetaka nikupe nafasi kabla niongee na watazamaji wangu na pia wasikilizaji wangu ambao wanakusikia saa hii beti because lazima tukusaidie. We have to help you. We have to help you in one way or the other. Wacha kwanza nitafute huyu Muhammad. Ningetaka nikupe nafasi uongee na wakenya ambao wanakutazama. 
labda wako nyumbani mm. ama wako huku kwanza nikupe nafasi ya uongereza wazazi wako kama uko naona na familia yako uambie your situation mm. because i know they will see you na uambie your situation na pia uongee na wakenya ambao wako inchi tofauti uambie venye ungetaka wakusaidie okay. kwa wazazi wangu nimewaelezea kila kitu mongea naona wanajua niko hali mbaya hata kutembea sasa hivi mali imefika nimeshindwa akiwa Kenya naomba mnisaidie nitoke huko nitoke tu Iraq nirudi kwetu nikiwa salama hakina za shukuru kabisa nisaidie ni nitoke tu Iraq na teseka kabisa na umwa mwili sasa ina umwa Masol sina fruta na nyama hadi nashindwa ni nini inaendelea kwa maisha yangu. Na imani kwamba Mungu atanipigania nipone. Nisaidie tu aki nitoke Iraq. Hiyo tu ndio naweza waomba akiwa Kenya. Siku ijo kama inaweza fikia hapa hadi familia ikatae. Ningepona, ingekuwa niko na afya njema wanyambie niendelee na kazi ningeendelea ila sasa hata wanitaki na kitu wanataka ni pesa tu pesa zao zenye waliniletea warudishiwe ndio <laughs> waniachilie nirudi nyumbani naomba akimnisaidie jamani nirudi hiyo tu ndio niko nayo nitashukuru sana nikirudi nyumbani nikiwa salama <laughs> Hi. Uh I'm actually trying to get in touch with Muhammad but uh, unfortunately the same party but I will try my level best to do it but uh, we as a family uh umesema anadai pesa ngapi in total for ni 4000 for you as I sema nini anataka for 4000 US dollars That's 400 Kenyan. Okay, I know I am going to mobilize I'm going to mobilize Kenyans here and we are going to lose that money and I'm believing that he will let you go. I'll get hold of him and definitely okay. we'll have to support Betty. Na hatukuoni sasa tutakusaidia hata kama tutakusaidia hata kama umetoka upande wa wa wote umetoka wa nchi yetu we believe that we are Kenya diaspora media we are community pillar and we are going to stand in the gap na kuna wale wasichana ambao wanataka kukuja hizo ma hizo nchi utawaambia namna gani na bado wako Kenya hapana tukae tu nchi yetu ile kidogo yenye tunapata tafadhali hata kama ni kidogo kaa tu kwenu ujue ni hiyo tu ndio iko huku maisha ni ngumu si rahisi vile mnafikiria utatusiwa utapigwa utanyimwa chakula tafanywa mambo mingi ili tu ukae kwenu juko kwenu huku maisha ni ngumu i can't advise anyone ni to come abroad maybe kama uko na roho yako ukuje tu ujaribu maisha yako na wewe iende vile itakuendea ni mtu angenikataza singesikia. Nilikataa, ilikuwa ni join shule. Nikakataa kabisa, nikasema atafuta hiyo shule bado nitaenda kutafuta pesa. Tafadhali mimi nawaomba. Huku Gulf hapana. Most yeah. Iraq, Iraq hakuna hata embassy, yeah. nobody will help you. Hakuna. Hakuna hata pesa. I wish to hard. Maisha ni ngumu huko nje na fahari. Kula tu ile yenye iko kwenye hata kama ni kidogo. Utosheke nayo. Eh. Wow. Aya, Kenya Diaspora Media, uh, Jeremy Damaris, uh, na of course what we are going to do right now na ninajua pia wale ambao watajitolea 4000 dollars hiyo sio pesa mingi we can do this and i'll make sure uh, i'll help you out venye nitaweza to make sure that you go back to your country uh, back to kenya wenye wako huko sasa wale wa nigeria wanakusaidia namna gani 
msichana ananisaidia kama ni kuenda nataka kuoga mhm ili ananishika ananipeleka mhm nakaa kwa stool kwa bafu nafungulia tu shawa mhm anaacha tu na diosha nikitaka kurudi na muita tena ananikujia ngone zafa tu kama nimeka na nisaidia kupika yeye ndio maid kwa hii nyumba yeye ndio housemaid yeye ananisaidia na shukuru ni msichana mzuri amenisaidia sana eh. aya uh, ladies and gentlemen tirita ya bere kanaria kereto anataidia ndo taya mara mingi tumewasaidia and i'm going to do this and i'm going to work on this so if you are watching us anywhere from this country or na pesa zikituma huko zitafika namna gani tukipata pesa hizi tutazituma aje huko 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 Iraq huko Iraq mtazieka pamoja mtatuma through Western Union kwa Mohamed tu kama niende immigration mkipata pesa nitaenda tu immigration yongina watu wa immigration watumiwe pesa Mohamed aitwe huko apeana passport kwa immigration ndio naye apewe pesa zake okay so what i'm going to do i'm not going to promise you tutapata hizi pesa zote but i know kuna watu wale wako na roho ya Mungu ya kusaidia and we are going to take you as one of diaspora and one of our people and we are going to help you lakini kama wewe pia unapanga kwenda Baghdad let this be the last case hatutaki kuwa tunatoa watu wagojo walienda wakiwa wazima huko ngambo alafu wanapelekwa nyumbani wakiwa wengine ni maiti wengine ni viwete so if you want to support this case i'm going to lead this campaign you can use the numbers on the screen wale wako diaspora you can use my cash app number ni mimi nitachukua pesa send it to me and i'll make sure hizo pesa zimefika kwa huyo muhammed i'm working on this to make sure ni mempata and also the immigration in baghdad we process this uh, payment to make sure my sister ametembea ameenda nyumbani if you are not in america you are in another country and you cannot use cash app you can use mpesa my mpesa comes here and i will always tell you the truth whatever comes here zile pesa nikipata 1000 nikipata 1500 nikipata 1010 nitawaambia na zote zitakuwa ni za my sister to make sure tumemsaidia arude nyumbani i don't want to say this will be the last case for mtu wako Baghdad but i just want to send a warning signal to Kenyans ladies when you wanaenda nchi ambazo hamuna uhakika nazo we know watu wengi wanateseka sio Baghdad hata hapa America hata Canada hata kwingine but kindly afadhali uteseke ukiwa nyumbani kwenu so in case Mungu akusaidie uweze kupata pesa za kuenda huko kwenu Utafil namna gani? Nafurahi ya jamani. Sikia mm -hmm. vizuri nirudi kwetu. Ninaona Muhammad ananipigia simu. Let me try to get Muhammad in a minute. No, okay. Hello? Yes Muhammad, how are you? Yes, hello. Yes, I'm calling you from uh, United States of America. Okay. And I'm calling you concern. Who are, are you? I'm doing good. Uh, who are you? Who who? Don't mind about me. I'm just calling concerning a case of one of the ladies okay, from okay, Kenya. Okay, okay. I will not talk with anyone. I don't know who is it, who is he. Okay, do you know someone by the name Betty? Sorry? Do you know someone by the name Betty? I never answer you. If you don't tell me you, who you are. My name you is are My name is Jeremy Damaris and I'm calling you from one of the stations in US. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Even you are talking from Biden. Okay? Who are you? Who, uh, your relationship with uh, Betty? What's the, your relationship with the Betty? Okay. Right now we are live in one of the media in the United States of America and we are not we are not related in any way with betty we are just concerned citizen living outside kenya okay, in diaspora okay. 
ok, 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 ok. To, to, to uh, summary about Betty, she is uh, run away from me. Uh, so, uh, she stolen me and I have case in the court and in the police station about her. So, if she don't uh, return back my rights, I will never give you your pass uh, her passport. Otherwise, I will uh, let the police uh, take her. Okay, we, do, we don't, we don't, we don't, uh, we don't worry about the police. The will, uh, Our question uh, is this: What? Last uh, word. Okay, okay, case. Mohammed, we hear you. Our question is: What is that that you need from Betty? Sorry, I didn't hear you. I'm asking you: What is that exactly you need from Betty? Sorry, then it is not good. I'm asking you: What is that that you need from Betty? Hello? Hello? Aya? Sijui ama unanisikia Betty? Can you hear me? Unanisikia? Hello? Eh? All right. Network in Apotea, sijasikia vila naongia. Uh, wakati nikuwa naongea na ye mitamba yangu yote imepotea. I don't know what happened. Mm. Yes, Mohamed. Hello? Yes. Yes. I'm asking, I'm, I'm asking you, my question is this. I'm asking, what is that exactly you need and from... My, and, my answer, and, and my answer is, if you want to talk with my lawyer... If or anything else in the United States, uh, you are there uh, and you change. Now, just now you change the uh, photo uh, of your mobile to threaten me, okay? I will let uh, my uncle in the United States to speak with you. Exactly. And you go ahead. Let's. We're going to speak with the We are okay. in the United and, States and of America. We cannot, can, we cannot and, allow, and can, we cannot and, allow and, and you can, human. And you, can, and, you can, you, and you can go ahead. What you can do, do. And you threatened me and the law. Will, exactly. Uh, no, pro, nobody threatened you. We are live on one of the stations in the United States of America. So whatever you want to say. I she ask you. Yeah, I ask just, you a question. A I ask just, you a question, one, Mohammed. One Mohammed. Minute, just, Mohammed. Just I, one minute, just one minute. Give me a minute. I have a question for Let you. Me. I no, ask. No. 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 I will not answer. Okay. If so speak, if you won't answer, if you, want, if if you, you won't answer, speak, if you want, you must hear. If you want to speak, you must hear. She's a thief. She's a liar. She's a bad. So you can make any actions from your side. Okay. I made my actions through the law, through the judgment. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You can't do. You can't do yeah. My oh, qu my on. question my. is one for you, Mr. Muhammad. You said she is a thief. You said she is a liar. Aya, amekata simu. Hello, Mohammed. We I say I told you we are live in one of the stations in the United States of America, and I'm asking a question. What is that you need from Betty? I need to return back my my money. What my money? Rights. How much? How much money? Three or four thousand dollar. And because she's old now, and I speak with her agent from in Kenya. I can, I can forgive her if she pay not four thousand because she's uh, she's ill as she said, and I I think it's she's liar, and I I insist she's liar. She can pay just two thousand dollar. It's because you call me now, okay? Okay. My question is this, Mohammed. If, if she pay you two thousand dollars, are you gonna give her back her passport? Of course, yes. I told her this. I told her that. Of course, yes. You know, you know some of Kenyan, another Kenyans, uh -huh. walking in my ho ho home 
If you want me to call you within two hours, I let you to speak with him and she will uh, tell you everything you can understand from her. So I promise and I forgive her colleague when she ran away with her, I forgive her because because she's not like Betty. I forgive Betty three times before and she's a liar. She's murder. She's she's working with a gang. You understand me? She worked with okay. a gang? Yes, of course. Sorry. I'm in a restaurant and I'm I'm in, uh, speaking in uh, high voice. So all right. Now, Mohammed, to yeah. avoid to avoid all this, to avoid all these wars and stuff yes. like that. We were calling you to yes, know yes. because right now she's sick. She's she she's in a bad condition and she want to go be back to Kenya. Believe me, she's liar. Believe me, she's liar. And uh, in this case, it's okay. I will let her uh, return back to uh, Kenya if she pay for me th my money, not 4000 because you calling me now and her agent calling me. Uh, called me i will let her go back again to kenya uh, take you my promise and you can uh, uh, record what i speak now what i uh, say now so next day when she pay i will give her her passport and i will give and i will remove the case of them from the court and the, from police station is that okay Okay, I hear you, what you have just said. That's fine. I'll talk to Betty and we'll talk with the uh, administration yes. and we'll see what to do. I cannot. So, uh, if she I'm pay sorry, you... What's your, what, what's your name? What's if, your name? I say my sorry. name is Jeremy Damaris, calling from USA. Yeah. Yes, Jeremy, Jeremy. Yes. I told her, she called me before one week and she wrote to me before two weeks. I told her to return back to the office, main office that she uh, uh, that I uh, talk from uh, there her from there and I told her we can discuss anything there she refused she said that she didn't know how to return back she's a liar because uh, anyone knows how to run away knows how to return back okay but I cannot let her return back to my house because I'm afraid about my family. She's Is also afraid. She's also afraid about her life. She said you have threatened to kill her. It's her fault. It's her fault. That's why I, you want to kill her. It's, sorry. That's why you want to kill her. I want to kill her. <laughs> She's liar. She wants to kill us. Okay. So are you in? Uh, are you? Are you? Are you? In, are you? You know. You okay. Know, you know. You know. You know. You know. She's tried to kill another one, Nepalian one. She attacked her before and she injured her. So she's lying. She's liar. Believe so me, my she's my liar. question my question to you, no, Mr. That's, that's that's not that's not I, I I cannot forgive her okay. because I forgive her I, I forgive her her colleague, the another Kenyans. I forgive her in, in Christmas days because she uh, apologized and said this is the first time papa i ran away and i will never and she returned back to my house so okay? my question my question to you my now. question to you yeah. mr muhammad my question to you is yes. if she pays you that money tonight she go back home tomorrow yes. i will give her her passport tomorrow and i will remove the case the case and i will promise i will i will remove the case from the court and the, from the police station directly and then if anything wrong and i will never do it you can record to me now you can record to me now are you and you can use it against me in another way thank you are you involved in any way of human trafficking sorry are you involved in any way of human trafficking sorry i didn't understand you are you involved in any way of human trafficking like you know pay for human 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 trafficking slave sales uh, if you do you pay for human pay. do you pay for them to be yes. brought to you do you pay someone yes 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 from the office it's legally legally she came to me legally not illegal 
So this is my my force. This is my force in this case. This so you bought force. her. Did you buy? You bought her, right? Yes, I bought it from the main office. Where is the main Under office? Our contract. How much was that? In Iraq, in Baghdad. It was uh, six thousand five hundred dollars. Okay. How long has he worked for you? She worked uh, about uh, seven or eight months. And you paid her, right? I paid directly. When I talk her, I paid directly to the office. Okay. So if you want, to, if you want to make case against the, the case, I will uh, the uh, the main office here in Baghdad. Uh, I will uh, uh, send you her, their uh, uh, phone number if you want. Thank you, Mohammed. I'll, I'll, I'll get. Give me time. I'll get back to you uh, before the day end. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Why? Hiya, forgive my English. Sasa, my sister, Mohammed, yes. dia huyo ni miongea na ee. Yes. Alikuambia umulipe $2,000. Kipo ndi yako. Unanisikia? Akisema ni no. Tena kusikia. Alisema umulipe $2,000. Eh, hamefika $2,000. Alikuambia hivyo. Alisema 4000. Si unisikia akisema now I have removed from 4000 because you have talked to me and the they hadn't. <laughs> okay. I think that's uh, I don't know how you guys take this case but I think that's what we're going to be doing. Now is not $4000. We are going to help you to lay 200000. Thank God at least amekubari and we are going to let you go. Amesema ukimulipa hiyo pesa kesho utakuwa umetoka huko urudi nyumbani. <laughs> so ile pesa tutaweza ku raise for you I also want you to talk with the family on your side wajue venye wata, okay. pesa zenye wako nazo at least kutumia uweze kulipa huyo jamaa muondoke huko Okay Thank you So if you are watching me and uh, we only need $2000 uh now thank God it was $4000 I've called Mohammed and I'll keep talking with him until this case is done. Na huyu mshichana amerudi Kenya because kama venye umesikia amesema yeye alimununua. It's a business. This is a business that is going on. $6,500 is not a joke. Waja meni. So ladies and gentlemen, adora mothi kagereria na nejo ni muraji gwa murenge muno rurere ruru ruito. Ah gayage kohutia to gai ni ahutagia modo. Baby, I'm sorry. 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 I'm Na aende Kenya, that's fine. I'll give her contact. Unaweza mulipia all the way still from there. But kuweza kulipa huyo jamaa pesa yake $2,000. I think I'll have done uh, what I came to do this day. Thank you very much. And uh, I'm hoping uh, that uh, things will work out, my friend. Thank you. And na weo kipewa vitu zako, pasporte yako. Kwa hivyo unajua mahali mutapatana na yeye? Immigration to... Ah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. If you want to send your support, you can use my cash app number 205 4397 We only need $2,000. Or maybe my M-Pesa number. I have to pay for my M-Pesa number. I have to pay for my M-Pesa number. What do you want to say? I want to pay for my M-Pesa number. Okay. Asante sana. So uh, once tumepata hizi pesa, nimeona kuna watu pia wame nitumia hapa. Uh, nimeona kuna mtu anaitwa Purity Kamau, amenitumia uh, $50. Thank you very much. Kuna uh, Joan Wamboi amenitumia $40. Yes, watu wameanza kutuma. So I'm believing by tomorrow. By tomorrow tutakuwa tumemaliza hii case na umekuwa umeweza kurudi nyumbani and I believe in a big God and a mighty God. So uh, let us do it. Let us help her. Na zikifika mimi nitakuja hapa kuambia tumepata $2000 na tumemunipia dege amerudi nyumbani. Sasa ukirudi utasema namna gani? 
Nda sen nda shukuru sana. Mhm. Nda shukuru sana wa Kenya kwa kunirudisha nyumbani. Mhm. Na sie zitoka tena nyumbani. Okay. Thank you very thank you very much Lucy Kangala nimepata you are $20 thank you very much of course wale wananisikiza kutoka kwa radio asante sana i can still receive your support well wale watakuwa pale wakinipata kwa youtube thank you and i know you're gonna support and we're gonna do this we have done it so many times let us help this girl to go back at least now i have like uh, $100 and 20 $120 so ukiona kama nahitaji 2000 you can imagine uh, nimebakisha pesa ngapi and i know i'm gonna have it by the end of today or by the end of tomorrow in the name of Jesus. Kesho nitakuwa hapa niwaeleze what we have done and thank you and I'm hoping uh, Mungu atasaidia. Airport ya kwenu inaitwa namna gani? Do you know? Hapa Baghdad. Aha. Uh Ama -huh. Kenya. Hapa Baghdad. Hapa Baghdad inaitwa tu ba ni Baghdad tu. Baghdad Airport. Inaitwa Baghdad Airport. Ni Baghdad tu. Eh. Okay, asante sana. Just have a good day and God bless you. I'll come back to you uh, wakati mambo tumeweza kufanya. Bali tutafikisha, I'll let you know. Thank you. Aya, ah, yeah. asante sana my friend. Thank you. God bless you. Asante. Uh, so ladies and gentlemen, and uh, some of these cases are very tough sometimes, uh, but uh, with the help of God, we are going to do it. And this is the is a is a is idio platform to mungu amenipa ya kufanya hii kazi. And we cannot kuachilia watu wakikuja hapa. There are so many cases I know, but ile mungu amenifinya sana kuingilia will have to help out. So she is sick. Hata kama ameitwa hiyo majina yote umesikia huyo bosi yake amesema for last we are not there to judge. One thing is that she is our Kenyan. Hata tukiambiwa amekufia ame huko tutaambiwa tuchage arudi nyumbani akiwa amekufa and tutachanga. So right now let's her, let us give her another chance uh, to meet her parents. She's young, she's 19 years old and we can do that in the name of Jesus. Adwara me goroje gashia gutaithia ndo. This is the time. Let's do it. Na ni juni toko mutaithia na ni juga inyewe kama udume. Gaje tako Jeremy Damaris na ni gatho muno muno makiria inyewe mugukoro mugito taithia ona gutigirira timu ile tushene inu kana ni juni go kana report jega ya kuga ati yes tumeweza tumeweza na tumeweza. God bless you so much. Exactly. Ukienda pale kwa cash app unaweza tumia hata dollar sign. Alafu Kenya diaspora. And then ukituma na utake receipt ya kufanya taxes, we are non profit organization. Tutakutumia tu receipt yako. And uh, you are going to um, to do the taxes with that receipt. Maybe for now 2022 taxes. Thank you very much Jeremy Damaris. Mungu akubariki tukisaidia huyo